an update video on the canary breeding room but before I show you around the breeding room I'd just like to show everybody a tip I've been noticing it quite a bit on the internet watching other people's um, bird rooms but without you know picking at other people we all do things a little different I thought I'd just show everybody today why I think some of the people on there are getting clear aches I'll try to show you now so they got their perches on their cages and as you can see this perch can boing up and down so if you put a water drinker on the end every time a bird jumps on that it's going to make a bit of water come out of that so my solution to that is this all I do is I put a nail in the end of the perch so what I do I just take take the perch out put it in the back where there's a little hole screw it in just so it's in the back of the cage so the perch is nice and secure and it's got a really good point for them to tread on if your birds are treading on the floor on that little bar or partition piece in your cage flying down there the hen is to be treaded she's flying down there because she knows that those perches are a bit dodgy and he can't really get to her underneath on the floor like that because he's got all the bedding and stuff in the way and another thing too it, it, it doesn't get me when the bird is on the perch he should be able to turn around without his tail touching the back of the cage if you're a showman and you show birds which my dad used to be a showman, he would never let a bird's tail touch the back of that cage when it went to turn around. Because every time it jumps on the perch to turn around, he damages the back of his tail. And if you're a showman, the last thing you want is a bird with a damaged tail. So, you know, give the bird plenty of room to jump on the perch and turn around. I don't understand why they have a perch here and then a perch at the other end it said it makes the birds fit well my birds are all fit and they got four perches per cage and uh, if you get another bird that won't roost on your <laughs> onto the babies and the mum all you got to do to solve that problem is just put a little perch up higher and I guarantee you that that cock bird would rather sit up there on that perch looking down at his end than he would on her nest. Anyway, that's enough of me going on uh, what I think is right and wrong. Uh, I'll let you have a quick look around the bird room. So, my Siberian cock bird, he's, uh, he's chuffed, he's got another end, she's on eggs. We've upset her a bit today, I've had a little clean out. I've got two baby meals in this one. Ideally, I would like to stole the eggs and put them down the bottom shed so they'd be finch noted. But I can't do nothing about it now. I've got another mosaic hen here. She's on four or five clear eggs. Full clear eggs. Full eggs. If I make any mistakes, I'm not going to edit out. It is what it is. I've got another little hen there feeding the young one. She's on four full eggs. She's on four full eggs. There's my uh, pair up here. The East Rose are really lovely yellow intensives. So they're due to be taken away any day. This pair up here, they're on uh, full eggs. I did steal some of these canary eggs to put under the mules at the bottom chair, but when I get to those pairs, I'll show you, tell you. So this pair here, they're on. Uh, Four, young, four or five young ones. I'm just about to take these away any day again. They're going to nest again. I've got another hen here. She's on four full eggs. I stole her eggs to put down the bottom shed. So she's nested again. That's her third round. I've got another hen here. She's on three or four young ones. I've got a pair here. I'm going to let go any day. pair of mosaics she's only got a couple of young ones I'll let her go again 
a mosaic and a agate, I think they call them. She's on full eggs. This pair has got full eggs. This little foster mum, she's got three young ones. My super mum, she's, uh, with a bit of help from me, has reared five young ones. I've got another end here on eggs. I stole her eggs to put down the mewling shed. I've got another fresh cage here, ready for the mules, uh, mules, the canaries to go in. And I've made another set of cages at the bottom with some drawers. So uh, I'll have some more space. I've got some more young ones down here. Obviously I can't keep all these birds. I'm gonna to have to get rid of some but, uh, for some seed. I'll sell some and I'll use the money to keep my hobby going. These are young ones, the first round young ones. I quite like these young ones, they're uh, quite yellow, intensive yellow. I got these in cages in twos, just so they don't get a bit lonely really, and uh, so I got a bit extra room. They all seem to go a bit quiet when you do these videos. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, um, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.